If you want to live your best life as a structural engineer in Australia, you don't need huh? much. A laptop, an iPad, hard hat, tape, keys, half an avocado, a questionable banana shorts, and most importantly, a problem to solve. I've worked roles that kept me only on site or only at a desk, and both get boring fast. The best part of structural engineering is the balance, a bit of field and a bit of office. And today, my office is right here on the river. First up, I'm writing a forensic report, which is basically the story of a building problem. What went wrong, why, and how we can fix it. My first step is to just brain dump the whole story in plain words. So the setup, the problem, and the solution. Then I use ChatGPT to help organize it into simple, non-technical terms because my clients aren't engineers. Don't get me wrong, AI helps to streamline the writing, but you have to make the final calls, check every line against your site notes, and make sure you're happy with the final result. My nerd brain wants to explain how this lift stays upright, but my mates would say, please don't, Gabe, not now, not in the lift. All right, I'll shut up then and enjoy the view. I have a rule, guys. If I see a pull-up bar, I do 10, because no pain, no champagne. All right, let's hit the road into the Lambo 2012 Hyundai edition. First stop, timber frame inspection in Brisbane. This is an extension on an existing house and my process is to walk the entire area and check for tie-down connections, bracings, framing members, check if there are extra studs under point loads, any pipes running through structural members. The goal is to catch small issues now before they become big, expensive problems later. If you want my full inspection checklist, there's a link to my free starter pack in the description of this video. And for the shot, set the tripod and get back in the car. One quick drive by, walk back and grab the camera. And now we're ready to go. Rule number one of any site visit, poppy diplomacy, completely rejected. Anyway, back to work. This one is just a small granny flat for a mate. You rent it out, good extra money. And we're back to the road on the Gold Coast, the city I moved to hoping to become a professional surfer, but ended up becoming a professional Domino's delivery driver. Life is funny, hi. Ha ha ha. All right, third stop for the day, a light gauge steel home down on the Gold Coast. And this is my office for the afternoon. Not a bad spot to work, hi. Huh? definitely one of the nicest places you could build on the coast. So this place is built with light gauge steel framing. You're seeing it more and more in Australia, especially on projects like this. But to be honest, timber still dominates the residential market. And there is a simple reason for that. We have generations of carpenters here who know timber inside and out. Most of the trade training, the tools, the entire job culture, is built around timber. For steel to really catch up, I think we would need a major cultural shift, and that would probably only be driven by a big change in the price or supply of materials. My job here is to make sure what's being built matches the drawings. In all my inspections, I basically walk the entire area visualizing the load paths. Think of the forces on this building as a river. The weight of the roof and floor, the people inside, the wind, all these forces need to flow uninterrupted from the very top of the roof down to the foundation. The main idea is to make sure there are absolutely no weak links in that chain of forces. Just a quick check on the Bang Lab community. It's growing super fast and we're adding more lessons all the time. Link is below if you want to join. Back to the Lamborghini, notes on the iPad, and let's move on. Drove past a job from a few weeks ago, a suspended slab, and I'll give you a quick tip. I always look really close in planter box locations because they hold water and soil. See that still sticking past the formwork? That has to be cut back. If you leave it, water seeps in, 
it rusts, swells, and cracks the concrete from the inside. It's called concrete cancer and it's a nightmare to fix. That's when you would be calling me for a report and repairs and it's best to be avoided. Time to get naked in public? Just kidding, you cheeky monkey. I always stop for a quick dip when I'm on the coast. I lived here for years and probably took it for granted, but this never gets old. Manifesting one of these homes, one day, took a power nap, dreamed I had already bought one of those homes, woke up like, where am I? And my stomach knew it was food time. Brazilian classics, and snack for the drive home. Back home in the Lamborghini 2012 Hyundai Edition, and that's the day. Thanks for tagging along. I'll catch you in the next video.